But at the end of the day, changing your entire life to fit the mob aesthetic or the clean girl aesthetic will not fill the void of not knowing who you are. It's a lot of corny mother in the world. You know what I'm saying? A whole lot of biters and shit. You know, you're dressing one way and then the whole world starts dressing another way. Like, individualism is important. That's why you guys who you guys are. That's why I fuck, you know, Kanye West is who he is. And Timberland is the way he is, and Dr. Dre is the way he is, is because cool is something you can't you can't teach no nobody. That's something you just born with. Hello, my loves. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Bahja. If this is your first time seeing my face, then hey, welcome to the channel. And if you've been here before, like always, it is an honor and a pleasure to have you here with me. In a world of social media aesthetics trends influencers it girls it seems like we're facing an individuality crisis especially with the influence that tiktok and the chokehold that it has on all of us it feels like we're hopping from one trend to the next one product to the next and I can't even keep up. There's so many aesthetics and it's starting to feel like we're chasing these aesthetics and chasing these trends to try to find our identity. And if you've been on this channel for a while, you know that this channel is all about stepping into your fullest potential. And so you can't really do that if you're not being true to who you are. And so I really felt the need to make this video. I was like literally itching to make it. In my newsletter this week, this was actually the topic that I chose to write about and you guys really resonated with it. There was really good feedback and so I was like, like, let me sit down and make this a video. And so today we're going to really discuss how to find our identity and be confident in it in a world of trends and aesthetics and it girls and influencers. We're going to talk about the reality of having a sense of self and not having a sense of self. And then, of course, at the end, I'm going to give you some steps to finding your identity and then daily habits that will help you navigate through life being your truest self. It's so easy to just find yourself mindlessly scrolling, especially on TikTok. We are consuming ideas and products and opinions. And if we don't take the moment to really reflect on it and come back into ourselves, it is so easy to adopt those concepts and those ideas and those opinions as our own beliefs and then our identities become shaped by the things and the people that we see on social media and that can lead us to feeling lost and unfulfilled because we're not being true to our authentic selves don't get me wrong i love a good aesthetic i love trends sometimes i feel like they can be fun i love the idea of being able to share your interests your opinions your thoughts your ideas with the world and i think it's so beautiful to be able to take inspiration from things and from other people and from trends but it really becomes a problem when we lack a sense of self and we try to find that within those aesthetics and those trends and those products so why does identity matter so much i talk about identity so much on this channel that's because the experiences that you have the skills you decide to learn the decisions that you make the things that you attract comes from who you are in this life you do not get what you want okay you don't get what you want no matter how badly you want it you get what you are and so when you're constantly trying to imitate others or mimic others or or when you're going from one trend to the next you are coming from a place of lack and so when you're in this place of lack you will experience more lack and what we don't realize is our individuality our uniqueness and our authenticity is the most magnetic most attractive energy individuality is where your potential lies but being authentic really isn't the easiest path to take because it really hurts more when you are your authentic self and you put yourself out there and you're rejected for it it hurts so much more when you're judged for just simply being who you truly are like i said i'm all for inspiration okay i love a good inspo i live on pinterest i love pinterest i have so many pinterest boards but being inspired as someone who has a sense of self who knows that who they are is seeing an aesthetic is seeing a trend and then defining that for yourself rather than rebranding your entire life and yourself to be and look like hailey bieber because you feel like hailey bieber is an it girl hailey bieber is like hailey Bieber is seen as a fashion icon and so in order to be that in order to be like in order to be aspirational I have to be exactly like Hailey Bieber and really what you're telling yourself is I don't really like myself I don't feel good enough I don't feel cool enough and so in order to be that I have to be Hailey Bieber but the reality is what makes it girl so powerful is their ability to be unapologetically themselves is to not be afraid to try new things and to step outside of the 
the box to step outside of what everyone else is doing having the exact same body care routine as leah from love island isn't going to give you the energy that she exudes it's not about the things that they have it's their energy that really draws us in and that comes from being real forcing yourself to fit in aesthetic or forcing yourself to pretend like you like things that you don't truly enjoy is so lame and i'm not joking when i say it. i've seen girls force themselves to drink matcha even though they don't like matcha because it's trendy or because all the it girls are doing it and when you're doing something that isn't truly aligned with you you look uncomfortable and that energy of those beliefs that you have about yourself that's causing you to act like something you're not that energy is what you're giving off and people can sense that you would be so much more attractive if you're in a room of matcha drinkers and you still choose to get your coffee you know what i mean and it's not about being pick me and saying oh i'm so different i'm so quirky because even that is coming from a place of lack it's looking for validation it's coming from negative beliefs that you hold about yourself and so it's being true to yourself and not faking being something you're not i don't know why i'm using matcha as an example i love a matcha y'all know i have like four a day <laughs> but being in a room of matcha drinkers looking around seeing that everybody's drinking matcha you want to drink matcha too because you don't want to feel you know you don't want to feel left out you don't want to be rejected and that's normal we have this natural need to want to fit in but then that leaves us feeling miserable and so the first step to really take is admitting that to yourself i fear rejection I do. I feel rejection and that's why I'm pretending to like matcha when I actually don't. And what happens to a lot of us when we choose to ignore our fear of rejection or we never admit it to ourselves or we don't even realize it and we're not conscious of it is we are stuck and trapped in this cycle of overconsumption. Hopping from one trend to the next, one product to the next. And you know what? Brands are eating that up. Million, billion dollar companies are being built and created off of our insecurities securities and this sheep mentality of trying to fit in and trying to be like everyone else and tiktok is very good at bringing your insecurities to the surface creating insecurities in us that never existed just like you guys remember that little the little flip screen thing what is it like inverted camera where you see how people see you and it made a lot of people insecure it made people realize how disproportionate their faces are and it's crazy because no one really realizes that nobody notices that but social media and tiktok is really good at making us aware of things that we were never aware of and it's so sad because even things like our bodies right have been turned into trends i've seen this video of i don't even know who the woman was but she was talking about how bbls aren't in anymore and she wants to like undo her bbl because now natural bodies are in my mind is actually blown my mind is actually blown at what social media has brainwashed people into thinking and not to sound so oh there's this evil person who is trying to manipulate us and the world is so evil but do you know how easy it is to manipulate people who have no sense of self not just to buy a product, but in general. Do you know how easy it is to convince people that they need something in order for them to be accepted, in order for them to be cool, in order for them to be seen as an it girl? But at the end of the day, changing your entire life to fit the mob aesthetic or the clean girl aesthetic will not fill the void of not knowing who you are. Your true power lies in your authenticity, in your individuality. And that is not found through imitating others and mimicking others, but it's found by listening to yourself, by honoring and respecting your opinions and your values and your beliefs and your likes and your dislikes. Your identity and your personality is found and created and nurtured through self-discovery. All right, let's talk a little bit about how your identity is created because when you know how your identity is created and you kind of have that understanding, then you can be more more mindful and more conscious so that you're not allowing social media and just mindlessness build and shape your identity. So our identity and our self-concept is deeply rooted within our subconscious mind, which stores our experiences and forms beliefs, and that ultimately shapes our worldview. It shapes the lens in which we view the world. From when we're babies, our minds are constantly storing and absorbing information that create our identity and our paradigm, and then we use that to interpret 
interpret everything around us. Everything is perspective. And the way that we see things, the way that we experience things is because of the way that we've interpreted the information and the experiences that we had that is stored within our subconscious mind, the beliefs that we have that are stored inside of our subconscious mind. And the thing is our subconscious mind notices everything. The things that you do not notice consciously our subconscious mind notices. Our subconscious mind never sleeps. Our subconscious mind is then the reason why we act and behave the way that we do. The way that we interact with the world, the way that we interact with other people, the skills we learn, the ways that we view situations, all of that comes from our beliefs. And so when we're not mindful of the content that we consume, we are forming beliefs without that awareness, without that consciousness. And so that's why it's really important to understand how your identity is formed and how how your mind works and functions. Authentic people know their values and their beliefs and their morals, not because they just know it, not because they're just authentic, but because they take time to reflect on their experiences. They take time to sit down and say, this is what I value. This is who I am. And then they stand strong on that. They have these guiding principles. Almost just died. That was gross, I'm sorry. When you're in that place where you lack self-knowledge, it puts you in danger because you're constantly being bombarded with the influence of social media, with the opinions of other people, with thoughts, and people on the internet say and do whatever the heck they please. And so when you're constantly consuming that, that can lead you to a feeling of lack, feeling like you don't know who you are, feeling unfulfilled, feeling confused with the direction that you would like to go in life. But the T is, the T is you are the aesthetic okay you are the aesthetic you are that girl you just don't know it yet y'all know that sound that's like i don't need an aesthetic i am the aesthetic i don't have to find an aesthetic i am an aesthetic i mean i'm sure there's somebody out here right now who's going into pinterest trying to type up all these adjectives to describe me yeah that is how you should be feeling about yourself and honestly this might ruffle some feathers but the truth is when you're constantly going from one trend to another pretending like you like things that you don't like you're forcing matcha down your throat the truth is you might really not like yourself the truth is you might not really like yourself and that comes from never valuing your opinions really that's what it is you don't value your own opinions you don't value your likes and your dislikes and the moment you start to do that you start valuing those things those things start to become important to you those things become what guides you through life you're gonna be you're gonna be that girl you're gonna be that girl you don't have to try to be unique there's no such thing as trying to be unique you don't have to try to be cool cool but you just be you are all unique you are all cool you just haven't been expressing it and you've been suppressing it by trying to force yourself into the box of aesthetic and like i said expressing yourself puts you in a a vulnerable state because when you express yourself and then you're rejected for it that shit hurts that hurts a lot more than faking it that hurts a lot more than putting on this mask pretending to be someone you're not and then getting rejected for it because regardless of whether you're yourself or not regardless of whether you are dressed exactly like Hailey bieber or not people still won't like you people still won't accept you people will still judge you but the biggest l you can take the price that you have to pay becomes your potential you will never get to witness who you could have possibly been and the impact that you could have made on the world and the people around you and you know what that hurts more that hurts more than a rejection it really does when you see something that you feel attracted to something that you feel inspired by ask yourself why do you feel inspired by this why do you feel attracted to this what is it about this thing let's say there's this new trend if you like it and it sparks some curiosity within you then go for it and try it try the matcha But if you don't like it, you have to be honest with how it makes you feel. You have to be honest about whether it really resonates with you or not. If it is something that lights you up, if it is something that you love, something that just feels so authentically you, and you can feel that through energy. How do you know something's authentic to you? 
energy if it fills you up and you're excited about it and you love it and sometimes something is true to you and you might not enjoy aspects of it or you might not enjoy it some days by pursuing it you're still standing on your own values but if something just like genuinely lights you up keep doing that keep doing it keep keep wearing that balloon skirt or bubble skirt keep drinking the matcha you've discovered something that fills your soul and the thing about being unique is the thing about being authentic is you don't have to know exactly 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 who you are now you don't have to know what makes you unique now the whole point of life is having new experiences so that you could discover different parts of yourself so that you could discover parts of yourself that you never knew existed it's meeting people that bring out different parts of you that you never knew existed so you can't just sit down one day and figure out exactly who you are and all of the things that make you unique unique all the things that make you cool but it's moving through life with honesty it's being honest about how things make you feel it's being honest about the energy that you feel around someone it's being honest and then valuing that saying this is more important to me than what is trendy why is being authentic so attractive I'm going to try to explain how I see it in a way that makes sense. So just stay with me, stick with me, okay? The way that I see it is every single one of us has a unique journey on earth. We have a unique mission, we have a unique purpose, and I'm not saying we only have one mission and we only have one purpose. I feel like in different times of your life, in different eras of your life, you're going to have different purposes, you're going to have different missions. Sometimes they're not going to be so grand and enlightening and big, it doesn't have to be this huge thing, but you are always serving a purpose. Something within us knows what that journey is something within us knows what that mission is and in order for us to fulfill our purpose and to fulfill our mission we have to move through life with intention with mindfulness and with honesty because then you're making decisions from a place of authenticity and when you do that you're in alignment with your purpose and you're in alignment with your mission whatever it may be and i really do think that god has something beautiful for every single one of us our potentials are so great and when we move with honesty and mindfulness then we can experience it when you are in alignment everything feels like it's falling into place for you also when you are being honest that helps other people feel connected to you that energy of honesty that energy of being authentic people feel a little bit more drawn to you people feel that energy and they're like oh so not only is it attractive in a way where people are drawn to you but then it's also attractive in a way where the opportunities the tools the people that will help you really step into your fullest potential that will help and allow you to fulfill your purpose and fulfill your mission will also come to you everything will feel like it's falling into place when you're honest about what you need now what you currently need what you value your likes and your dislikes rather than what the internet tells you you need and you should be doing and who you should be then you are going to be able to live in alignment and really with my goal and my own personal mission with social media and my youtube channel is to make you realize that your presence here on earth mean something and it is valuable i feel like a lot of times we can downplay our importance in this world the world seems so big there seems to be so many people but your presence and your impact matters and so in order for you to really fulfill that to wake up to your potential you need to stop being so distracted and yes trends and aesthetics and it girls and social media and influencers all these things can be distractions they can be very helpful for for discovering more about yourself but that's only with the right mindset if you don't have that mindset if you're not self-aware if you don't have self-knowledge if you're not mindful and you're not intentional it can be a distraction it can make you live a life that you don't necessarily like because these things are distracting you of your greatest power which is your authenticity do you know how much beauty you can add into this world if you are honest with yourself 
if you move through life with honesty let's get into the steps that you can take to find your identity become confident in your identity and really just stand on that and move through life with that honesty so that you could reach your fullest potential because i'm telling you you're gonna be amazed at how much you, you actually matter you're gonna be amazed at how much you can actually do and how much you can achieve step number one is doing the inner work and doing the shadow work i know i know i know it seems boring you want to skip it you don't want to talk about it but it can't be skipped i feel like if there's one lesson that you can take from this entire video this far it's that the inner work cannot be skipped it's that coming back to yourself and doing the reflections cannot be skipped and so what you can do is sit down grab a notebook grab your journal if you have the becoming her notion template this stuff is already in there it's already in there you can just fill it out if you haven't if you already have then come on you're killing it the first thing you want to do is become aware and become conscious of your self-concept what are the things that you believe about yourself how do you talk to yourself what are your values what do you value why do you do the things you do even the smallest most mundane things why do you do the things you do if you don't have a solid why if it's not because of a goal that you've consciously set for yourself it is because of the influence of other people whether it was your parents whether it was your teacher in the third grade or social media and so when you ask yourself why why am i actually doing these things why am i actually hanging out with these people by asking yourself why you can get to the root you can figure out whether you are doing it because it is true to you or because of outside influences and so a daily habit that you can start to incorporate is spend 10 minutes every single day journaling and reflecting on your thoughts and your feelings and the experiences that you had that day step number two is build yourself back up what is the self-concept that you would like to have? What are the beliefs that you would like to have about yourself? What are the values that you would like to have and why? What do you want your morals to look like? When you are clear about your current self-concept, your current identity, and then you have a clear idea of who you would like to be, of the self-concept you'd like to have, the beliefs you'd like to have about yourself, then you can consciously start creating the goals. You can consciously start creating those habits and those behaviors and those things that you would like to do and then you can mindfully be on social media and question does this align with my values does this align with who i would like to be and the goals that i have set for myself and then you can remove those behaviors that are not in alignment with you and you can say no to the trends and the aesthetics and the things and the people that are not in alignment with you and that is what authenticity is about is saying no to everything that is not in alignment with you regardless of what people think and so a daily habit that you can have is set a small goal every day a habit a routine that will help you become that version of yourself if you have the notion template it walks you through that entire process so you guys should definitely check it out not because i made it you guys can ask if it resonates with you if it feels right for you and then get it <laughs> step three is to become familiar with your inner state is to create a positive environment within yourself a safe space through observation and through reflection you can get to know yourself on a deeper level but the key is to not judge yourself you have to accept the negative feelings because they're just as important as the pause the positive ones the good ones you want to reflect on situations and how they feel regularly i used to have the hardest time sitting with my feelings and my thoughts especially in the beginning and i know a lot of you guys have a hard time with this too it can feel extremely overwhelming if you've never sat with your own self and your own emotions ever it's like thoughts they it just gets so loud in your mind all of a sudden but the more that you sit in that and you sit in that it'll just quiet down practice positive affirmations talk to yourself kindly i made a promise to myself that i would never judge myself even if the entire world is against me and hates me and is judging me that i would never judge myself that i would be honest with myself yes i will acknowledge the things that i've done wrong yes i will acknowledge the way that i could have done things better but sitting and judging our minds will go straight to yeah, you said you were going to drink your coffee, but you ended up drinking the matcha because everyone else around you was drinking it. You're a loser. You'll never be able to be authentic. That is like where your mind goes first. You got to reframe those negative thoughts and you have to practice that. Having a positive mindset 
doesn't just come naturally okay it comes with practice you have to practice reframing the negative thoughts when you get rejected for for being who you are you have to come back to yourself and affirm rejection is just redirection remember that that is how you create positive beliefs it is through the repetition of those affirmations the repetition of trying again and getting back up and trying to drink the coffee while everybody else is drinking matcha the next time It's not going to be easy, but it's what it takes. A daily habit that you can practice is daily affirmations as often as you need throughout the day, as often as you need. I remember needing to come back to my journal and write out my thoughts and feelings so many times a day, especially when I was going through it in the beginning. Turn the beliefs that you would like to have about yourself into affirmations. So if you would like to believe that you are a smart gal, right, you probably have a belief about yourself that you're dumb because your third grade teacher told you you were dumb but now you want to create this new self-concept and you want to believe that you are smart create a personal affirmation for yourself i'm smart and anytime someone makes you feel dumb or you feel embarrassed or you feel stupid and your brain tries to keep you in that old self-concept in that old mindset and it tries to reaffirm that you are dumb you got to reframe it and say i am a smart gal i'm smart i'm smart I'm smart. And that leads me to my next part. Affirmations on their own aren't the strongest. You need proof. You need evidence. So step number four is be curious, create new experiences for yourself and try new things. Set your goals and start working towards them. You will create those new experiences for yourself by doing that. You might come from a household where you were never really allowed to express your curiosity or follow your curiosity, express yourself because you were always judged. And so you learn to just do and say what everyone else is doing. If that's the case, then it might be a little bit harder for you to follow your curiosity. But remind yourself that those experiences do not define you and you no longer are gonna allow it to hold you back. Whatever sparks your curiosity, check it out, try it out. Someone will always be disappointed by your choices someone will always be disappointed by who you are someone will be mad and hate you for and judge you for being yourself but the greatest disappointment and the biggest L is disappointing yourself is not living up to your potential is not trying different things and seeing all that you could become when you step outside of your comfort zone and you try new things and you try different routines and different habits you are creating evidence for yourself that you are that girl so if you have that belief of i'm dumb and you want that belief of i'm smart you're practicing your affirmations you want to read books step outside of your comfort zone go to a different class try different things out try to teach someone something a practice that you can do is every single week try something new that aligns with your values and your interests whenever there's an opportunity to step outside of your comfort zone take it a daily habit that you can do is track your progress acknowledge the things that you've done today even if it's the little things I actually woke up on time today. Acknowledge it and take note of it. Understanding yourself and your self-concept is probably the most important thing in the world of social media today. In a world overflowing with trends and aesthetics and having access to people's opinions. When you watch my videos, I want you to ask yourself, Does this align with my values? I don't want you to just take everything I say and run with it. I want you to ask yourself, does this align with my values? Does this align with my goals? Does this align with where I want to go? If it doesn't, keep it pushing. If it does and it resonates with you, then take that and ask, what about this resonates with me? How can I implement this in my own life, in my own way? By reflecting on your experiences, your values, and your beliefs, you can live a life that is authentic to you, that is true to you do not let the outside noise dictate who you are do not let it tell you who you are do not let it steal your potential away from you you really have to stay true to yourself and let your inner light guide you that is all that i have for you guys today thank you so much for watching this video if you found it beneficial share it with a friend leave a comment down below i love you all so much and i hope to see you next time